Evening, praise God. How many know it's good to be a child of God? Now I want to look at a thought out of John, 1 John chapter 2, beginning in verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. You know, I begin to think about these passages of Scripture, and we begin to see that we're in the Laodicean time, a lukewarm church age. We're in a time where people have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. People don't understand today that they're trying to have a mixture that has taken place. They're trying to mix the things of God with the things of the world. And Paul said, light and darkness just does not mix. It is a very disturbing trend when I begin to look on social media sites like Facebook and begin to see one minute somebody would put vow, foul language on there and the next minute they're talking about, oh, how I love Jesus. One moment they're putting two men kissing on there and the next minute they're talking about Jesus. Folks, let's just be honest. You cannot have it both ways. You cannot serve God and yet try to live for the world. You cannot serve both God and mammon. Either you will cling to one or you will cling to the other. I know what many people will begin to say, Oh, now, you're a little harsh. What's me having a little hot fun with it? What's me playing around with it going to hurt? Well, let me take you into the book of Romans chapter 1, where Paul talked about something right here in Romans 1 and 32 about... Those not only that participate in something, but that those that just take enjoyment, those that, you know, get a laugh or a giggle out of, think it's harmless, thinks it's just something just for a little bit of fun. Listen to what Paul said. He said, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. What is he getting there? He's getting there. You may not be participating, but if you're taking pleasure in it, you're just as guilty as the one that is participating in it. Well, let me just let this little preacher be harsh right here for just a second. If any man would try to call himself a Christian and vote for a person like Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama or one of these other liberals, you know, we'll just be honest. The love of God's not in you. You're a, they're a backslidden. They're what you call a... Um, you know, the, I know the word, but I can't describe it right now. They're a heretic. You know, I, I just believe it like this. You cannot support abortion. You cannot support gay rights. And yet think your name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. You cannot support taking thought in the drugs, the alcohol, and the abuse. And think everything's going to be all right because it's not going to be all right. You know, Paul said it right here. Don't have pleasure in them that do them. Paul's last word on the human sinfulness is God's condemnation of a condition equally as serious as the practice itself. And that's the approving, the immoral, and perverted practices of others. Now we begin to see a big controversy that's beginning to rear up down in North Carolina and Georgia with the NFL and the NBA and all these calling it hate and everything like that. Well, I got news for you. As far as I'm concerned, we I don't need the NBA. I don't need no Super Bowl. I need the blessings of God. I need the righteousness of God. Oh, I hear it now. Preacher, you're just a bigot. Nope. I call sin for what it is, whether people like it, lump it, hate me, love me, it don't matter. Because at the end of it all, we all have to stand account and given a judgment before the things of God. You see, we're in that day now where they're calling evil good and good evil. 
Oh, we want is this nation. It, it, they're fascinated with Islam, but they call Christianity. They say, oh, it's out of date. I got news for the Muslims out there and their supporters. At the end of it all, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I got news for the ACLU. I got news for the NFL, the NBA that is coming against the, the standards of God and the things of God. You will still give an account before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I got news for the Supreme Court that legalized sin. There is a Supreme Judge that is far greater than you. And when your laws come in contradiction to the Word of God, let God be true and every man a liar. When we begin to see that we're a nation that is tre trekking towards the judgment of God because people are taking pleasure in the things of the world and not in the things of God anymore. People love the pleasures of the world. People love the things of the world, but I got news for you. The, thing, the sinful ways of the world requires a penalty. Romans 6 and 23 simply says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Um, I got news for you today. At the end of everything, at the end of days, the most important question one will ever have to answer, what will I do with Jesus? What will I do with this man called Jesus that we're celebrating this weekend? I know. Many people say, well, I believe in him. Well, I believe in him. I got a question. Have you been born again? Even the devils believe in this Jesus. Even the devils fear and tremble and believe at the, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the question I have for you today is, have you been born again? I, I hear people begin to tell me, oh, preacher, I don't know the word of God. I don't uh, need read the Bible. Well, I got a question, but I'm saved. How can you be saved if you don't know His Word? Uh, how can you be saved if you don't spend time in His presence? Uh, think about it. How can you know someone if you don't have a relationship? Oh, here's a good one. I don't have to go to church. Well, let me ask you. Paul said, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as you see that day approaching. And let me tell you, if you really love him, if you really love him, you're going to want to spend time lifting up praise and adoration of God. If your faith ain't strong enough to get you to church, into his house today, how is it going to be strong enough to his kingdom. That's something to ponder. In the last few moments of this episode, let's just talk about, get, get hit it down to where we are. We're in a day where people have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. They'll have that form, they'll have an outline, they'll have a shape, but they ain't got no substance. Oh, I know what they're saying. Oh, you're judging, you're judging. No way. Oh, that's the most misquoted verse in the Bible. Let me tell you, if I look for a fruit tree, I look to find fruit that is good. If I find a fruit tree that is full of rotten fruit, it's no good. Uh, what are you saying? I'm saying Jesus said, you can tell a tree by the fruit it bears. Paul even said, he that is spiritual will judgeth all things. Uh, you see, here's what what boils down to today. Oh, we're in that, that last day that people want the world and they want the things of God. But you cannot have the things of the world and the things of God. You cannot live in open rebellion before God and yet think your name will still be written in the Lamb's book of life. I got news for you. Just like Joshua said, choose you this day whom you will serve. But as far far as me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. I'm telling you, it's good to be with you. We'll get back probably in a couple days with another episode with a little bit longer. 
with if you've heard us tonight and we just appreciate you being with us heavenly father we pray lord that you touch every individual out there lord we pray god if there's one listening that's not saved god we ask you lord to touch dear god and move upon them right now father lord and we give you the glory the praise and the honor in jesus name amen thank you